लो गेट मार्क्स क्वाइट अ फेयर वी ऑल फेयर दैट we might be ending up with low gate marks and what we should do about it or most of you might be already uh, given the examination gate examination and might have got low marks in gate but yes when we ask anyone they will say that you well you didn't work hard you didn't work hard is that it but there is a little more to understand why we get why and how we can avoid getting low gate marks now most of the videos you will find that do this do that and then you will say oh yes i'm going to do this okay okay i'm going to do that but some things that you end up uh uh doing so you do some things that actually lead to your low gate marks so it is because of some like mismanagement or something that you thought because i've talked to a lot of students and uh, who gave the gate and also uh, many pass outs to who also gave the gate examination and got low gate marks then when they are go- going to analyze themselves they think that okay i didn't work hard but yes uh what is that working hard thing because it is just uh, like should we study more should we practice more didn't we study or what actually went wrong so why actually we are getting low gate marks maybe even if there are people who just Uh, have the potential but they still end up getting low gate marks so what is the real thing so i'm not going to talk about the whole thing that you need to work hard you need to read you need to do this but i'm going to talk about those things that you should be actually uh, be careful of because yes i want you to work uh, or study in a way that so that that is efficient it it actually gives output otherwise then it you will end up getting low gate marks so in this video i will talk about the five uh, major things so five major things which actually uh, make you get end up getting uh, low gate marks so you need to take them very carefully why you should watch this video even because i've seen uh, people thinking that yes okay uh, i'm doing great i'm i'm good and in the end they panic and they finally get low gate marks even after thinking that oh uh, i i gave my gate in a good way but still they do a lot of mistakes so we'll talk about those five points and also if you are new to this channel so subscribe the channel so hello guys welcome back to the youtube channel of the concept guy and in this video we are going to talk about a very crucial thing because a lot of students have this fear that if they are going to end up with low gate marks something that we all worry about and i in my initial days also used to worry about this that uh what will happen if i just get low gate marks uh, how to avoid that situation what to actually take care of so let's get started guys and subscribe the channel so uh we have five points here but i will talk about the first point later because it is quite initial and uh, quite actually crucial so first point uh, i will talk about it later let's begin with the second point but first point i will discuss uh, after the other points because it is the most crucial point so the second point is that uh well you might be preparing for gate and there might be some like uh your confidence level would go up and down up and down uh some sometimes you might even feel that what will happen if i just get low gate marks well the second point deals about it how the way you uh move your preparation so that is 
you do a lot of questions so mainly uh, sometimes what happens that you do a lot of questions uh, those type of questions which are actually hard yes definitely even i used to do that what i do did is that i took uh, i read a topic or a subject and then what i did is that i uh, solved some question some a two marker question and in that question uh, what we see that uh, the difficulty level was quite hard so what i used to do is that i would to spend a lot of time on that one particular question so you need to avoid this thing okay this is thing this thing i just uh, got uh, at a later stage that we shouldn't do this because then what will happen that our preparation is hampered and even in gate our uh, this this whole uh, our attitude towards the question remains that we stick to the hard question uh, that we have to do this hard one first and okay the easy one we will do it later but no no guys this is the point number second that don't just jump into the hard questions first because hard questions will actually take a lot of time and time is crucial in grade so in gate examination you first need to find out the easy questions but how to do that come on this is this so easy to find the hard question well when you are practicing because now you have i guess you are pre doing the, your preparation so when you will see that you have done a topic and then you will pick up the your book and what you will do is that find the questions that you can solve then you will find that some questions you are taking too much time okay they are hard and the concept related to them might be a little twisted so you are taking too much time the thing is that don't start with those question okay start with questions which are easy that which are very easy and some formula based question direct formula you have to put okay you don't have to just think about much why it is important because i've seen if i just take one hard question and try to solve it then it might take 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes then i will take a break i will say okay uh, now let let's have a break and after that again after let's say a 15 minute break uh, then after that i will say okay let me try it let i have to do it but that is not a proper method for great preparation and you might end up getting low marks why because simple thing you are taking a hard question <laughs> you are not able to going to solve it so easily so why to just waste your time time is really crucial for the gate as well as your preparation night right now so you will take uh, you have to just avoid those hard questions uh for at the beginning at actually in gate we will talk about that of how to face them but yes do more of easy questions first and most importantly uh, increase your speed at the first because uh, once your speed is increased then only you actually like going to work on your accuracy why speed because in the initial stage stages of your study when your preparation uh, is going on then actually you want to cover all the topics and hence this is only possible this is not actually possible when you go to that hard question and stick to it putting a lot of efforts trying out from here from there a lot of things doing uh, and you will get frustrated you kind of think that i will leave this topic so don't just stick to that hard question and so the next the third point is is that it is quite uh, common uh, very much common even in, in fact i used to do this a lot a lot more so beware of this point this is that going to other books okay uh, solving uh, problems from let's say levenspiel uh, 
uh, any book okay any course book that you will see so solving that problem this problem any book that related to course so solving those questions first so that uh, we will think that okay wow now i know this thing let me do that practice let me do that practice f from this book this book and in the end we see that oh the previous year is still there to, to be done so guys do the previous year question first i tell you this again and again do those question first those are easy that from the previous year question you will find a lot and that is the best thing to go about it else what you will do you will do uh, questions from let's say any let's say a mathematics you take a mathematics question a hard question uh, and then what will happen is that you take that hard question you stick to it one day two day when not getting any solution you are uh, literally frustrated you will say okay let's take a break that break thing is something that will create an unlike unliking of the topic that do please don't fall into that else you will just end up wasting your time and getting low grade score obviously so it's not about just hard work like i've said that you get low grade marks because you don't work hard you might be working hard but in not a particular direction and you are doing some mistakes okay so that is the point the fourth point that i'm going to talk about is something that uh, is closely related to all of us all of us okay what happens we see a question okay that might be an easy question or hard question and we kind of think about it think about it think about it and we see that okay i'm not able to do it so what what we do is that uh, we try just one attempt we just give one attempt and we see okay i have to do so many a lot of questions so let me just uh, ignore this and just see the solution and then okay i i know how to do that question now so i will see the solution and yes okay i know that i will just understand okay what they did okay thank you but yes uh you have seen the solution and you just gave only one attempt you will feel quite confident okay i've seen the solution i know the thing but no in gate exam when you will face the question uh if you make it a habit to see the solution after first attempt you will just get panic like literally panic in fact some of the students i talked about talked uh, to uh, they in fact panicked a lot because uh, they were they were trying uh, to just do the question then when they are struck they were just in a habit of uh, how to do how to do how to do why because they always looked at the solution so try to give more attempts to the question if you are not able to do it then i will just say try to read the notes related to that topic not the whole notes related to that topic if you are not even unable to do it then only see the solution and don't do questions like uh, one question then see the solution one question the next question see the solution do all the questions first and then see if you are if you are not able to get any of the questions then leave it guys come on uh, all the questions are of one mark and two marks only so there are more one markers there are more two markers try leaving some of the questions that you are struck with okay don't take it by heart that i have to do it okay you have to leave the questions and uh, after we're giving at least two tries at least two tries guys so when you are practicing you can give two or three or even four tries but yes in gate it's better to give it just one try and complete it i will discuss that later but yes don't just uh, see the solution after each question and 
you will feel that yes okay i now know the solution i know how to solve this question but definitely in gate you will panic so and panic leads to the load gate marks so now we move on to the fifth point and we will discuss the first point after the fifth point because first point i told you in the beginning that it is quite crucial and a lot more crucial so before that let's understand the fifth point your fifth point is that well you are just reading 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 and then suddenly you feel that okay i am saturated uh, my head is just blown up i put a lot of efforts i i just read and uh, practiced for a lot a lot more hours let me take a break a break means here that big break let's continue our this this whole thing after one or two days because i am totally saturated my mind doesn't work now you will face this definitely because even i faced it and i've seen many students are uh, facing this that they they think that their mind is saturated they have like completely uh, learned everything and now they are not able to just uh, process this in their head so they will think that okay let's take a break and once they take a break so they might if you if you are college students then they will do some of the college work or try to do something else the distractions are many in our life so they give a break and uh, they uh, start with a break of let's say one day but that break increases like uh, okay a little more days okay after a few days like procrastination but here what i mean to say is that when your mind is saturated don't just leave the whole preparation don't just leave everything okay because a uh, consistency is really important in gate if you are consistent then you will surely get a good gate marks But, and what uh, yes what we feel that we are saturated and we might need a break but what you can do is that instead of the break because a break is like see a, a whole company is running and in between it says that okay we have worked a lot let's take a break so why would it take a break that would just uh, make the company like uh, getting less profit okay something like that but if you take a break then actually what will happen that you are extend you will just extend those break and suddenly you will realize okay 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 now i have gate is coming near then i have to study so don't do this guys don't give a break uh, b- take small breaks like 15 minutes 10 minutes but don't give uh, a, a days break because that will actually uh, uh, not help you much and you will get ending up with low gate marks so what to do instead of that break so there are a lot of things but one thing that i really recommend and i also did is that i just took a blank sheet of paper or a blank blackboard and if i think that my my mind is saturated i would just write down first i would write down the topics of a subject then the formulas of the subject and just writing those down uh, like not just opening the book and writing them down you can in fact do that but uh, yes you will just not even tr- tr- try to just open the book because you have mind is saturated at that more point so i just take a blank page write whatever is your mind your mind is saturated right so your mind has to go into that a blank page or blank board because when you will write down you will see a lot uh, you will feel a lot more relaxed and you will see that okay okay i i i am uh, i am stuck at some point because you don't know everything yet okay so even if you think you are mind is saturated but there are still a lot of things that you need to cover uh, no one actually covers complete syllabus because at least some part is always remaining 
so just write down on the piece of paper and just write down write down because you might take write down uh, might take some time to write down and then you will realize that what are the blank spaces where is your mind is still empty okay so that is a better thing rather than taking a break like no studying no a practice related to gate that is completely wrong so for lastly uh, the first point that i told you the most crucial point uh, and i need your attention uh, in this first point because i uh, this is the ultimate point and this actually determines if you are going to get a low gate marks or not okay uh, so the first point the most crucial point is that you need to balance your study and practice yes it might look simple to you but it is not that simple because what happens is that we think that if we study everything we are getting low gate marks because we didn't study but that is not the only reason uh, you have to manage the your study as well as practice if someone practices a lot of questions studies little he will get low gate marks if someone uh, studies a lot but practices very little he will also get low gate marks so you have to create a balance between the two how to do that and how you can approach this uh, i will talk about that in some other video but yes there should be a balance and how to create that balance is something that we feel that it is easy we are studying okay and we are uh, also practicing practicing many questions let uh, first i told you that do your previous year questions don't stick to that hard questions uh, and just waste your time do the easy questions from the previous year questions to build up your confidence as well as like come on uh, if i tell a uh, a small kid to just derive the let's say bernoulli's equation he even doesn't know what is bernoulli come on so i cannot tell a small kid to just derive a bernoulli equation i will just say that okay uh, how does the pipe uh, how does the water flow in a pipe okay that is what i will say you will say that okay when i switch on the tap the water comes and comes out of the flag with feet uh, with a lot of force so that is the thing move from the easiest thing to the hardest thing don't go directly to those and the study and practice balance i've seen a lot of students giving so many test series so many test series test after test after test thinking that yes and taking this book that book and everything taking and they think that yes now we will get a good get rank a good get marks but yes uh, eventually they end up getting low get marks and that is important so i talked about the five major points okay these are the main points that you need to just take care of because yes even if we are feeling that okay i have taken care of these points and now maybe we will not not get low get marks but you eventually forget these why we forget this is that because we think that okay i need to just move on to the hard questions stick to them solve for one two uh, days and just get frustrated okay my mind is saturated i don't want to learn anything more uh, i think i we need i need rest so these things come up again and again in our mind so i hope you will understand these things and meet you in the next video and where we will talk a lot of more things that how you need to work on your get marks so thank you guys make sure you subscribe the channel and bye bye